Today's gospel passage describes Jesus late at night during a storm walking on the Sea of Galilee towards his disciples' boat. According to John's gospel account, the disciples saw Jesus walking on the stormy water towards them when they had rowed about three or four miles from the shore. Jesus greets the disciples by saying, Take courage, it is I. With these words, comments Petrie, Jesus is using the same words that God spoke to Moses when Moses asked God, what is his name? God responded with, I am who I am. In other words, it is I. After Jesus saves Peter from drowning and with Peter, climbs into the boat, the disciples do him homage while saying, truly, you are the son of God. The Greek word for to do him homage, which is also translated as worship, is pros kinesen. This word is formed from two words, pros meaning towards, and kineo meaning to kiss. Together, the word indicates a person falls to the ground on their knees and kisses the ground. According to Petrie, the only time this word is used in Matthew's gospel is when Matthew describes worship due to God alone. For this reason, Jesus refused the devil's request in chapter 4 for Jesus to proskuneo him, to fall down and kiss the ground before the devil. To this request, Jesus replied, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him alone shall you serve. Together, the actions of Jesus' miraculous walking on water, Jesus greeting the disciples with, It is I, Jesus accepting the disciples' worship of him on their knees as the disciples proclaim Jesus the Son of God, all indicate that Jesus is not only human, but is divine. May we also recognize Jesus' divinity and not simply stop at his humanity. May we heed the words of Jesus that the mystic Blessed Conchita heard. The words were, Very many souls stop at contemplating only my sacred humanity and without even thinking of the divinity that accompanies and deifies it. Let me be understood, studied, and comprehended so that in me the divinity may be loved more than my humanity. Through the intercession of Blessed Conchita and the disciples who fell down in worship of Jesus, may our faith be strengthened so that we do not stop at Jesus' humanity, but through his humanity pass to his divinity. Every time we genuflect or bow before the Eucharist, the Blessed Sacrament, may we also more fully recognize that we are not simply genuflecting or bowing before one who was a great man, but one who is God himself come in the flesh to touch us and heal us with this merciful presence, giving us peace and everlasting joy. God bless.